he traveled to Walsall, to one of the oldest butchers in the area. They made their first faggot in 1888. These Midlands meatballs are a black country favorite. Morning. Morning, Glenn. Morning, Richard. Richard Hill. Hi, Richard. Fourth generation of the Hill family to run the business. You look good for that, though. Thank you very much. Richard Hill is going to make a faggot from scratch for Glynn. Right, Glynn, we're going to start with the raw materials. This is a whole pig's fry. We've got the liver, we've got the heart, we've got the lungs. We're going to remove the lungs, we're going to take the heart off, the liver off, we're going to cut it up, and then we're going to find whatever else we need. He uses the parts of the pig that are often discarded, the offal, and mixes them with onions and fresh sage. We're Mincing all this through on the medium plate. You don't want it too fine, because no, it's just like mush then, isn't it? Absolutely. You can have it too coarse as well. The humble faggot has sort of gone out of fashion, I suppose, or it's not as popular as it used to be years and years ago. Why do you think that is? We find that they're as popular as ever. Oh, right, OK. Um, I think they're a very nourishing meal. Mm. A lot of people haven't tried them, but when they do try them, mm. they, all, they love them. Richard's faggot recipe is a closely guarded secret. You've obviously got some sage, some dried onion, um, some mace, black pepper, but a nutmeg maybe. And you invite me to your <laughs> restaurant one of the nights, I'll... and I might just give you another little tip. Okay, mate, definitely, definitely. So the next process, are you, you, you're going to we're going to wrap them in okay. the kettle now. Then this is hold them all together. The final thing we do before we put them in the cooking tray and roast them. The membrane which holds together the pig's internal organs is wrapped around each faggot to hold the mixture together before they go in the oven. This, this hasn't got any sort of flavour, has it, the, uh, the cow? No, none at all. So what sort of temperature are you going to cook in the... 180 degrees. And no oil or anything? No oil at all. They're just perfect as they are. 30 minutes later, the faggots are ready. And Glyn hits the streets of Walsall for some market research. He wants to make sure he's chosen a winner. That's it, get a bit in the inside, that's it. That's it, that's it, beautiful. Now get some of that, that's it. Little mouthful of that. Lovely. Oh, it looks repulsive. What do you reckon? Not really too keen on that. <laughs> You're not too keen on it? Do you want to try some? I'm all right, I don't yeah. like it. <laughs> not really nice, not Okay, you know what? I don't really eat faggots, so it's quite nice. As well as introducing the faggots to a new generation, Glyn also wants to check they hit the right note of nostalgia. Does it remind you of home? Is it something as a faggots. kid? Faggots. Oh, yeah. Mashed potatoes, mushy peas. Yeah, onion gravy. Onion gravy, that's it, yeah. Mm. Do you want to take that away and finish off? I can see you enjoying it. Must. <laughs> some people love them, some people are not too sure, but generally, when they got stuck into them, they thought they were delicious. Uh, but for me, as they are, what they're called really reminds me of home. But for the ones that are not too sure, maybe let's just call them British meatballs.